Well, hey everyone, it's Scott again with NewPortraitBiz.com and I've got another short little Photoshop tutorial for you. And today we're gonna be adding tone to our pictures to make them look a little bit more vintage or just to add another tone to them to give them a whole nother look. And in this case, you can see that's the original, had a lot more vibrant color to it. Look at the background, look how green it is back in here. Um, the colors back in here are really rich. The bird is really rich. If I turn that on, then we've go ahead, we've lightened it and we've also added some brownish tones to that, giving it a little bit more of a vintage look. Now, all I did here was added a gradient map to it and it's really easy to do. Uh, now for starters, uh, let me just kind of point out what's happening here. These two colors right here, your foreground and your background color, are the ones that are going to set the gradient that you're going to be using. Now in this case, I've changed it, but these are the ones that are usually going to be used uh, when we're adding this effect. So let me just take you through it step by step and show you exactly how to do this and you can see you'll be able to add all different kinds of tones. It doesn't have to be this tan tone, it could be a bluish tone if you want. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, just delete this layer. The first thing we need to do is go to our layer dropdown and then go to new adjustment layer and then gradient map. Okay. And uh, we'll just, we'll title that tone and then say, okay. Now looks really weird because right now our uh, foreground and our background are these two colors. No problem at all, because I'm going to show you how we're going to fix that. So now we're just going to double click on this. Should open up your adjustment layer. Now, if you don't see this window, you're going to have to go under window and then select adjustments, and then that'll come up in there. Now let me reverse this. Then you're going to start to see the tone. Now that's a black and white right there. If we wanted to create a black and white with a nice tone to it and adjust the tone, we could use this same effect. Actually, let me just dive in here real quick and show you how we could do that. So let's just, uh, let's click on this and you'll see if I click on this now, it's taking these two colors and using them. Okay. Now I can take this slider, bring it up. We can add some brightness to it and then we can bring this one down and add a little bit more darkness to the darks. We can also do this here for the mid and you can see we're just adjusting all that. Okay. So this is one way that you can play around with the black and whites, uh, to give yourself a different look. All right. So, but that's not what we're going to do here. Uh, but that is how we are going to adjust the tonality. But what we want to do is we want to be able to adjust this color here or this black, but we're going to change it to a tan. And the other thing we're going to do is we're going to also use this layer mode and we're going to uh, play around with soft light and hard light today. Uh, let me start with hard light and you'll see right away we've already added a whole nother look. Now I don't like this, it looks a little muddy to me. Uh, but if I take the opacity and just bring this down, you can see I can add that effect lessen it, but still add it to where it makes it look totally different and totally unique. So that's one way you can play around with that. That's using the black and white um, as your gradient. Okay. Now let's just go ahead and double click on this and find our window here. Sometimes it's behind your palette, or if you want, you can even just bring it up here and it'll connect up in, inside of your, uh, your palette up here with all, all of your, uh, um, different palettes you have open. So this is our layers. This is our adjustment. So now what I'm going to do is click on this. It's going to open up our gradient editor. All right. Now I'm going to go here. Let me bring this into view. I'm going to go and click on this particular color because this is the color that's given us our darks, our blacks. I'm going to click on that and I can go in here if I want and just pick a tan out of here if I want so I can kind of color match uh, or I don't have to, but I'm going to just to get a starting point. And you can see now it kind of looks a little hazy and sometimes that's an effect also that you might want to play around with. But just keep in mind the lighter color that you do, it is going to give it that haze. If we come down in here and we start to get into the darks, you'll see we'll start getting the tone, but we'll also start bringing back some of the, uh, the colors or the tone, um, the saturation, if you will. Um, so right there, that's kind of like a, I don't really like that color. It's a, like a brown green in a sense. So let's just play around here by bringing this down into our brown family a little bit more. And you'll see just by doing this, bring it down a little bit more. That's really, really brown. Um, let's bring it over into here, here. Let's see. And you can see I'm just playing around until I find something that I kind of like. All right. So let's just go with that one for right now. All right. Now, if you look at this, let me bring this back to its default location. You can see it's just kind of a little bit uh, darker. Bring this one back and that brings it out and evens out the coloring. 
So if I take this now, and I want to bring up the whites, and kind of give it that softer look. I can do that. And then I can bring this in and bring back some of the darks. Okay. That looks kind of good. And let's go back to our layer. And then here you can see I've got it on hard light and I've got it at 55%. If I want to bring this all the way up, look what we've done. All right. That's a little too much. Let's bring it down. Okay. And you know, something like that. So let me turn it off so you can see the effect that we've just applied. Okay, it brightened it, it gave it a tone, uh, like a, you know, a tannish tone, almost a vintage look. Uh, and, you know, we didn't do anything to the original. We just did this on an adjustment layer on top. Now, if we play around with this and we go to soft light, we'll just actually lighten it a little bit and give it a little bit of a richer color. You can see there brightened it, but it also brought out some of the tans into it. If we go to overlay. You can see there it brightened it and actually made the colors pop a little bit more, but I could play around with the opacity if I wanted to. And uh, let's turn that off before and after. All right, so it's a way you can adjust the image for color if you just wanted to add, actually uh, make it look a little bit richer, you could play around with that. But I like to use it for like the overall color. Let me bring this back up to 55%. That's about where I had it and it's about where I liked it. Okay, and this is totally, again, preference. This is something that you're gonna play around with and that you're gonna be able to see what you like best. Now, you may say, well, their faces look a little bit washed out. Well, some people like that, but let me just double click on that and I'll show you that we can, we can actually bring this up again and we can darken some of those, like in here, and the tones in their face. And if we want to, we can just adjust this and bring that down and give it a little bit less of an effect on their face, you know, for that brightness. Turn that off. Go back to our layer and we can turn it off. That's the original. And that's the new version. So I just wanted to show you using gradient maps. It's really, really cool. It's something that you can apply and get a whole nother look. You can also create an action using this uh, if you wanted to. If you had a certain tone that you liked, we could have just did all that with one step actually or created one step out of you know many steps um, by using an action. And maybe I'll do a video later showing you how to do that. But in this case, I just wanted to show you super simple. Just make a layer adjustment and then just start playing around with your foreground and your uh, background color and you'll, uh, you'll start getting a bunch of different uh, looks that you can apply over top of your image. So that's it. That's going to wrap it up. Once again, I'm Scott with newportraitbiz.com. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe. You get more videos like this in the future. If you haven't subscribed to our blog, you can head over there at newportraitbiz.com forward slash blog or just go to newportraitbiz.com and you'll wind up there as well. And uh, you can sign up for uh, more videos like this. And uh, whenever we post something, you'll get that as well. So that's it. That's going to wrap it up. I'll talk to you later.